Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this authentic Ekusi soup that will leave your taste buds dancing and your cravings satisfied. And so guys, wear your apron, sit back and let's begin. To start, we're going to roast the Ekusi with some dry bonga fish. But you can use any dry fish you want. We're going to roast this thing on a medium heat, stirring constantly until they are about to cup like popcorn. Be careful that we don't burn them. When it begins to pop, it's time to put it out of the fire. After roasting, allow the seeds to cool down before grinding them in a powder using a blender or a grinder. I will be adding some little warm water to the blended egg to make a thick paste. Here I have some tozo meat and liver and I'm going to add some seasoning to this which I'm going to cook until it's tender. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. There is something about roasting your egusi or melon. It gives the, the soup a whole different kind of flavor. It's real, I can't explain, but it's something that you need to try and tell me what you think about it. Drop me a comment. Tell me how it tastes. Honestly, I really want to know. <laughs> going to let that cook for 25 minutes. Heat some palm oil in a separate pot or a deep skillet and at this point I like to add salt to my palm oil because this one too gives the uh, soup a different kind of flavor. I'm now going to add some chopped onions and stir them until they turn translucent. Then I'm going to add pepper mix of habanero and some scotch bonnet that has been blended together. We're going to put all together and mix them together. I like to fry for like three minutes. At this point, I will add the egusi paste and I'm adding it like this with a spoon in lumps. I'm going to stir fry it together for about five minutes until the egusi is fried and clumpy. Now I'm going to add the ekusi to the already tender and soft meat.
we're now going to mix all together and if it's too thick we can add a little water and give it a stir I'm now going to add some dry fish, give it a little stir, cover it for 8 to 10 minutes before I will add some crayfish and a little bit of uzuza leaf. If you notice, I'm not adding any salt or seasoning because I've already added salt at the in the beginning of the palm or when I added the palm oil. So right now, this soup doesn't need any more seasoning. Just this crayfish is just okay. After adding a handful of uziza leaf to this, our authentic ecosystem soup. Mm -mm -mm. We're just going to allow it to simmer for three minutes before we add our last ingredients. Food lovers, I want you to share this recipe with your family and your friends and smash that like button. Drop me a comment in the comment section and also a smiley emoji. Thank you. I'm going to add some ugu leaf to this, our soup, a handful of ugu leaf and stir very well. At this point, you can check for your seasoning for salt, for pepper, you can add, adjust any of the seasoning to your preference. After stirring together, I'm just going to put off the fire because this, our authentic soup is done. Once it's ready, it can be served with yam, fufu, eba, or any swallow of your choice. If you enjoyed this video up to the end, smash the like button. Please subscribe. And for those that have subscribed, thank you so much. I love you guys. And for those that have not subscribed, I beg you, support me. Subscribe to my channel. To get more beautiful, delicious recipes like this, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.